eek. Stories to make you shriek. Creep Show by Jennifer Dussling. Illustrated by Jeff Spackman. Kids stay away from the old star movie palace. The story is that some guy died in there. He got scared to death from a horror movie. I don't know if it's true or not, but the star gives me the creeps. I have to pass it every day on my way home. I always walk on the other side of the street. But today, I saw a sign out front. Free movie today. A free movie. Was this for real? I crossed the street to get a closer look. The movie was called Flyball. I had never heard of it, but I love baseball and I love baseball movies. This was too good to pass up. I started to push the door, but it swung open all by itself. Weird. Inside, it was dark and spooky. All the seats were very dusty. You would think with a free movie, the place would be packed, but no one else was there, just me. A bag of popcorn was by one of the seats. It was like it was put there just for me. Then the movie started. It was about a little league team. They weren't any good, just like my team. The coach was yelling something at a kid in right field. I play right field too. The kid turned around. It was me. All of a sudden, there was a whoosh, and I felt dizzy. I shook my head and looked around. I was at a ballpark, standing in right field. I was not watching a movie anymore. I was in the movie. The next pitch will make or break the game, the coach yelled. Crack! The batter smacked the ball into right field. It was just the kind of ball I never get. But this time, I dove across the grass. I reached out my glove. I stretched and I caught it. The final out. I saved the game. It was my dream come true. Kids lifted me up. Everybody was cheering. Then the lights came on. I blinked. I was back in the theater, back in my seat. I walked out in a daze. Had that really happened? I started walking home. Then I noticed it. There were grass stains on my jeans. The next day at school, I started to tell my friends about the star but I stopped. They probably would think I was nuts. And somehow, I felt this was my secret. Somehow, this was meant just for me. That afternoon, I had a piano lesson, so I could not go to the star. But the next day, I went back. Was there going to be another free movie? Yes! The movie was called Surf's Up. I have always wanted to surf. I knew I should go home. I had a ton of homework, but I felt like the star was pulling me like a magnet. I had to see if I was going to be in the movie again. I went inside. This time, there was a mallow nut on one of the seats. Mallow nuts are my favorite candy bars. It really was put there just for me. Then the movie started. It was about surfers. They were watching another kid surf. They said how cool he looked. 
I got a tingly feeling. I was pretty sure I knew who they were talking about. Me! Whoosh! Like magic, I was in the movie again. It was like I had been surfing my whole life, but all of a sudden, a huge wave knocked me off my surfboard. I wiped out. Over and over, I tumbled in the water. My arm scraped across my board. Ow! That hurt. I struggled out of the water. But what do you know? I wasn't at the beach anymore. I was back in the theater. Back in my seat. What was going on here? I ran out of the theater and down the street. Then I passed a store window and stopped. I saw myself in the glass. My hair was wet. And I had a sunburn. How could I get a sunburn from a movie? But it was a sunburn. And it hurt. My arm hurt too. I didn't want to look at it. I didn't want to see what I knew I would see. There were cuts and scrapes from my wipeout. Uh oh. This was a little scary. Maybe more than a little scary. I got a sunburn in a dark theater. I cut up my arm. I got hurt in a movie. And it was only a surf movie. What if it had been a murder mystery? Or a war story? Or a western?